Make Believe Ideas presents Story Time with Hannah. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. Nursery rhyme mashup. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly, but found it too buzzy to stand. She said, "There must be better treats here for me." I'll gobble up nursery rhyme land. There was an old lady who swallowed a spider that climbed up a big water spout. His hairy legs itched and tickled and twitched, so the old lady spat him back out. There was an old lady who swallowed a mouse. He ran up a clock for some lunch. The clock struck one, and soon it was gone. Hickory, dickory, munch. There was an old lady who swallowed a sheep that had wandered away from its flock. Bo Peep wasn't pleased, so the old lady sneezed. Achoo! And out flew the sheep. What a shock! There was an old lady who swallowed a horse she'd found at a farmyard nearby. The horse gave a neigh. Old MacDonald cried, "Hey!" So she went to find new things to try. There was an old lady. Who swallowed a boat, then found she could float like a dream. Merrily, 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 off she rode upstream. There was an old lady who swallowed a cow as he jumped over the moon. The dog went bow wow. She spat out the cow. Then chased off the dish and the spoon. There was an old lady who swallowed an egg that was sitting up high on a wall. He clambered back out, but then wobbled about. Poor Humpty fell down after all. There was an old lady who swallowed a duke. And all of his ten thousand men. She marched up a hill, knocked down Jack and Jill, and out climbed the men once again. There was an old lady who swallowed a bus, whose wheels went around and around. The driver said no, and the lady cried oh. As her tongue made a grumbly sound, there was an old lady who wanted some food, but ran out of rhyme she could try. She went to the cupboard, just like Mother Hubbard, and let out the hungriest sigh. There was an old lady who still wanted more. So the nursery rhyme character said, "Don't make a fuss. Just stop eating us, and we'll cook you a big feast instead." If you like this story, you can visit our shop: www.makebelieveideas.co.uk for more great books.